Earlier this year in New York, a tragic accident occurred when a Tesla crashed into a guardrail on the FDR drive, burst into flames, and left the driver dead while the passenger was severely injured. This incident reignites a chilling question many Tesla owners have. If your car catches fire, will you be able to escape? This concern becomes even more urgent as Tesla prepares to launch the new $11,575 Model 2, its most affordable electric vehicle to date. But the real question isn't just about affordability or driving range. Has Elon Musk finally addressed the life-threatening flaws seen in previous models? In this video, we'll explore the key design and engineering changes that could save lives, especially during emergencies. So stick around, and if you appreciate deep dives like this into Tesla's technology, help this channel reach 1 million subscribers. One click on the subscribe button keeps you in the loop. Let's start with one critical issue. How has Tesla redesigned its emergency exit system to prevent people from becoming trapped? The notorious door handle failures in past models weren't just hardware malfunctions. They reflected a deeper flaw in design philosophy. Tesla's previous flush-mounted electronic door handles were sleek and aerodynamic, but dangerously dependent on the car's electrical system. In the event of a crash or fire, when that system fails, the door handles become useless. The backup manual releases were poorly located, unintuitive, and hard to operate, especially in a panic when every second counts. The new Tesla Model 2 takes a radically different approach. According to engineering documents, it features a triple redundant exit system powered by three separate sources. First, there's the standard electronic release connected to the main vehicle battery. Second, a new layer of safety, a dedicated supercapacitor bank. These capacitors charge while the car is in use and are stored in thermally protected compartments near each door. They're engineered to survive impacts of up to 75 GE and temperatures over 1000 degrees Celsius for up to 90 seconds, conditions typical of severe crashes or fires. And third, there's an entirely mechanical backup. Tesla calls this the Instant Mechanical Override System. Unlike previous hidden levers, this system is built directly into the main door handle. If you pull with more than 15 pounds of force, the mechanical system activates automatically. No need to search for a hidden switch. No manual required. Just pull hard in a moment of panic and the door opens. The mechanics behind it are surprisingly simple but smart. A progressive resistance spring makes the door feel normal under light pressure, activating the electronic system. But once you exceed the 15 pound threshold, a cam mechanism kicks in. It disengages the electronic lock and engages a mechanical linkage using a high strength steel cable rated for over 2,000 pounds of tension. Even if the door is partially damaged in a crash, this system can generate enough force to release the latch. But what about backseat passengers, especially children? Past Tesla fire incidents have shown that those in the rear often have the hardest time escaping. The Model 2 addresses this with what Tesla calls universal mechanical access. Every passenger seat has direct access to a mechanical release. Rear doors are equipped with large, high visibility straps positioned at eye level. Made from photoluminescent material, they glow in the dark and require no power to be seen or used. These aren't delicate tabs. They're solid grab handles designed so even a five-year-old can operate them with one hand. Tesla's internal testing on this system was rigorous. Engineers simulated crash conditions where the electrical system was fully disabled, the door frame deformed by up to three inches, and interior temperatures reached 752 degrees Fahrenheit. In 97% of those tests, the mechanical release opened the door within two seconds. The remaining 3% only failed in crash conditions so extreme that any rescue would have required outside intervention anyway. This level of engineering isn't cheap. Installing triple redundant escape mechanisms on every door adds about $230 to the production cost per vehicle in a car that costs just $11,575, that's nearly 2% of the entire price devoted solely to passenger safety. But it's a direct response to real-world failures that cost lives. This isn't a flashy feature for marketing. This is engineering driven by past tragedy and a determination not to repeat it. There's another crucial aspect many overlook. 
human factors engineering. Tesla brought in firefighters, emergency responders, and crash investigators to help design the system. These experts tested it while wearing heavy gloves, in smoky conditions, simulating injuries, and under stress. Their feedback shaped the final design, from the shape of the handles to the force required to operate them. This is the kind of real-world validation that should have happened before Tesla's original electronic door handles were rolled out. Just imagine the difference it would make in an emergency. In the Toronto fire, witnesses saw passengers frantically trying to figure out how to open the doors. Precious seconds were lost. With the Model 2, the panic response of pulling hard on the door handle actually triggers the emergency release. Your natural reaction becomes your way out, not another problem to solve. So, what do you think? Should mechanical redundancy like this be standard in all EVS, regardless of price? If this approach makes sense to you, type Tesla Protect in the comments, because if enough people demand it, safety like this won't just be a Tesla feature, it will become the industry standard. And believe it or not, the door system is just the beginning. Tesla has also re-engineered how the Model 2 manages the dangerous battery failures that lead to fires in the first place. Let's take a closer look at these systems, specifically how Tesla's Model 2 handles one of the most dangerous EV challenges, battery fires. Here's the truth that often gets overlooked. Electric vehicles actually catch fire less often than gasoline cars. But when EV fires do happen, the way they unfold is much more dangerous. The core issue isn't how frequently these fires occur, it's how violently and rapidly they escalate. Lithium-ion battery fires are extremely difficult to control because they're chemical chain reactions. Once thermal runaway begins, traditional fire suppression systems, even advanced ones, often can't stop it. They either can't penetrate deep enough into the battery structure or can't sustain suppression long enough to make a difference. Tesla's approach in the Model 2 marks a major shift in how battery fires are managed. Instead of just trying to extinguish a fire once it starts, Tesla has engineered a system focused on containing the problem early and buying precious time for passengers to escape. The breakthrough here is what Tesla calls the Cellular Isolation and Flood System. Here's how it works. The Model 2's battery pack is split into 48 independent modules, each holding 72 cells. That's a total of 3,456 cells, fewer than in other Teslas, but arranged for maximum control and safety. Each module is wrapped in a heat-resistant polymer composite shell designed to withstand direct flames of up to 2,012 degrees Fahrenheit for four minutes without structural failure. Between these modules is a slim, 0.12-inch gap filled with aerogel insulation, one of the most effective thermal barriers known today. But while this slows heat transfer, insulation alone isn't enough. That's where the real innovation comes in. An integrated fire suppression system embedded throughout the battery pack. It uses a network of micro-perforated tubes filled with a proprietary fluorinated cooling agent. This isn't water, foam, or halon. Tesla developed this chemical specifically for EV fires. It stays liquid at extremely high temperatures and can absorb massive amounts of heat very quickly. As soon as sensors detect any part of the battery reaching 194 degrees Fahrenheit, a critical threshold for thermal runaway, the system floods that exact module with the suppression agent. Speed is key here. In lab conditions, thermal runaway can go from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to full ignition in just 15 seconds. Tesla's system activates in under 200 milliseconds and floods the affected module within 1.3 seconds. That kind of speed doesn't just slow down the fire, it prevents the chain reaction that typically causes the entire battery pack to ignite. But here's what really matters for people inside the car. Even if the suppression system fails, Tesla's design isolates the affected module and blocks the fire from spreading for at least six minutes. In many cases, the average containment time is closer to 11 minutes before the next module is compromised. That's not just buying time, it's buying life-saving time. Compare that to real-life incidents like the Toronto Tesla fire, where the car was fully engulfed in flames just three minutes after impact. In the German crash, a similar timeline unfolded. 
The Model 2 system, by contrast, offers at minimum a 6-minute window, and often up to 10, where the fire is confined to one module, keeping it away from the passenger cabin. Of course, designing a system like this comes with trade-offs. Adding active suppression increases the battery pack's weight by about 192 pounds, which in turn reduces the vehicle's range by roughly 9 miles. But Tesla decided that the safety benefits far outweighed the performance loss. And Tesla didn't stop there. The battery management system in the Model 2 doesn't just wait for something to go wrong. It's proactive. It uses machine learning trained on thousands of hours of real-world battery data to predict when a cell might be heading toward failure. If it detects warning signs, like minor temperature spikes, voltage irregularities, or subtle increases in resistance, it can automatically reduce the charge and discharge rates for that specific module. In effect, it de-energizes risky areas before they become dangerous. This AI-based system was developed using real incidents from Tesla's global fleet and fleet testing of pre-production Model 2s. The results are impressive. In tests where cells were intentionally damaged, the system successfully flagged 100% of them. On average, 47 hours before thermal runaway would have occurred under normal driving conditions. Naturally, this level of engineering doesn't come cheap. The suppression system, isolation structure, upgraded thermal controls, and predictive software add around $950 to the cost of each Model 2. That's over 8% of the entire production cost of an $11,000 car. But that investment goes directly into preventing the kind of catastrophic failures that have already taken lives. One aspect that's especially important for families. How does this system perform during real-world crashes? Tesla tested this extensively. In their crash simulations, they not only punctured the battery pack in multiple places, they also disabled the suppression system entirely to simulate total electrical failure. Even under these extreme conditions, the cellular isolation structure still prevented fire spread for an average of 4.2 minutes. That's with no suppression and intentional worst-case damage. In normal conditions, with the system functioning as intended, the safety window is far longer. So here's the big question. Should manufacturers be required to disclose how long their EV batteries can contain a fire before it reaches passengers? If you believe this kind of transparency should be a standard part of vehicle safety ratings, leave a comment below saying $11,575, the price of the Model 2. Because right now, there's no requirement for automakers to share this data with the public. And that needs to change. Right now, there's no standardized testing or disclosure requirement that tells consumers how long it takes for an EV battery fire to reach the passenger cabin. That's a major gap in vehicle safety transparency. Yes, the $11,575 price tag on the Tesla Model 2 is grabbing headlines, and understandably so. But the real story isn't just the price itself. It's what's included at that price point. Tesla could have cut corners to make this the cheapest EV on the market. Many automakers have done exactly that, stripping away advanced safety features just to meet aggressive pricing goals. But the Model 2 flips that logic on its head. Instead of sacrificing safety to save money, Tesla used lessons from past failures to improve safety, then made those improvements available in its most affordable vehicle yet. For families exploring the EV market, especially those shopping on a tighter budget, the Model 2 offers something rare. Real safety innovation at an accessible price. You're getting advanced protective systems that have typically been reserved for luxury EVS, costing three or even four times as much. More importantly, you're getting safety systems designed specifically to prevent the very types of failures that have made headlines, and in some tragic cases, taken lives. Will the Model 2 change the public conversation around EV safety? That remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. The era of compromising safety for style or cost is ending. Consumers are demanding more, and automakers are finally starting to respond. If this breakdown gave you insight, if you learned something new about EV safety or the technology behind it, consider subscribing to our channel. We're building a community that values transparency supports real innovation, and isn't afraid to ask tough questions about the vehicles we rely on every day. 
Until next time, drive safe, stay curious, and keep pushing for answers. And if you want us to compare the Model 2 safety systems with those in the Model 3, Model Y, or even the Cybertruck, comment the word compare down below. We'll make that the focus of an upcoming video. Please subscribe to the Timeful channel and don't forget to hit that like button.